When you work with some kinds of equipment or plant, there's a high risk of serious injury or death. That's why it's called high-risk work. To do high-risk work in Australia, you must have a licence. All high-risk tests have the same eight questions on the high-risk licensing system. That certificate you got for passing your course? Need that. Include your honesty. False or misleading information could land you in big trouble. Who can do a high-risk job and who can't? And who says so? Easy, the law. A person's only fully competent if they are licensed. A boss is a boss, but they are not the law. A boss can't have someone doing a high-risk job if that person is not fully competent, unless the person is enrolled in a formal training course and at work being supervised by someone who already has a high-risk licence for the work that person is doing. Forklifts are counterbalanced. This means they have a weight, a counterweight and a point of balance. The point of balance on a forklift is called the fulcrum. Think of it as a vertical line passing through the centre of the front axle and meeting the ground. Everything behind the fulcrum is the counterweight. If you have more weight than the counterweight, the forklift will tip forwards. Think of a forklift as being like a seesaw. You cannot add more counterweight to try to lift a heavier load. Forklifts are not designed for this. If you did this, you could cause an incident. There are different types of forklifts. The one you will use in your course is the counterbalance forklift. There are two main types of counterbalance forklift. Combustion powered. Electric powered. You must use the right forklift for the job. For areas that are closed or partly closed, you must use an electric forklift. This is because electric engines don't create gases. Forklifts with combustion engines give off carbon monoxide. This can build up in closed or partly closed areas. This could make you unconscious. If you didn't get help, you could die. The load is 25 bags of premixed concrete. Each bag weighs 25 kilograms. 25 times 25 kilograms equals 625 kilograms. Add the 35 kilograms for the pallet 625 kilograms plus 35 kilograms equals 660 kilograms. You will have to show you have learnt to operate the forklift safely. This will include driving the forklift through a course. The courses might be different for different sites. During the test, your assessor will be making sure you select the correct controls, position the forklift to pick up the load correctly. Position the tines correctly before raising the load. Make sure the mast is not tilted forward when raising the load from a rack. Do not travel with the load until it is lowered to a safe height. Make sure the load is sitting on the load backrest and tilted back when travelling. Check over both shoulders before reversing. Travel at a safe speed. Look in the direction you are travelling. Do not hit or knock anything as you drive.
Keep all parts of your body inside the forklift while driving. Make sure, when stacking the load, you place the load in the right position. The load is square to the loading area, and the load is even before removing the tines. The assessor will also make sure that you withdraw the tines cleanly without disturbing the load. Use the brakes correctly when raising, lowering or stacking a load. Finally, you will park, shut down and secure the forklift. Lower the fork arms to the ground. Apply the park brake. Put the forklift in neutral gear. Remove the key so no unauthorised person can use the forklift. Get off the forklift making sure you maintain three points of contact. And if the forklift is gas, turn off the gas cylinder valve.